Morning everyone. Um, today we'll be talking about the Haber process, which is the process used to produce ammonia gas. So ammonia is very useful because it can be used uh, mainly as fertilizers. Alright, so let's talk about how ammonia is produced. So first we have nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. So when we react them together, we're going to get ammonia gas. So this is a one step process and you will notice that it's a reversible reaction. So therefore it will reach an equilibrium. All right, let's talk about a few conditions for the Haber process. So the temperature would be around 450 degrees Celsius. The reason behind that is that the forward reaction is actually exothermic. So if we use a low temperature, it would favor the forward reaction and we would get a higher yield of ammonia. Right? But the thing is, if the temperature is too low, the reaction is going to be too slow. So therefore, we use a optimum temperature of 450 to make sure um, we get enough yield and also the reaction is not um, carried out too slowly. Now, next we have to look at the pressure. So the pressure here is going to be 200 atm, which is quite high. And the reason behind that is um, the left side of the equation has more molecules than the right side. All right, I have four molecules here and only two here. So a high pressure is going to push the equilibrium to favor the forward reaction, so which would increase the yield. So why stop at 200 is because um, the higher the pressure is, the higher the maintenance cost is. So they use 200 ATM to balance out the cost and the yield. And last but not least, we have the catalyst here. So here we're going to use iron as a catalyst. So the catalyst doesn't affect the yield or anything else. It only affects how quickly the equilibrium is being achieved. And let's talk about how we obtain nitrogen and hydrogen. So nitrogen is obtained from the fractional distillation of air, whereas hydrogen gas, you will get it when you react carbon monoxide with steam, which is uh, water vapor. So that's it for the Haber process. If you have any questions, um, just feel free to drop a comment at the video. Thank you.